Welcome to Church at Home with Rachel for Monday, April the 4th. Today I'd like to talk to you a little bit about a, a poster that I saw when I was in Edmonton last week. Rob and I were had an appointment and we're sort of wandering around. We're going to go get some lunch and we walked by a probably a store at Southgate Mall and it was probably um, uh, like a probably a, a, a luggage store or selling purses or something and the big giant poster was of a, a young woman you know looking Hollywood with her purse and a dog tucked under her arm and all of a sudden I thought to myself anything that breathes is not an accessory it seems to me that we have become so focused in our society upon what we look like and and what things can make us look better I mean, I, I, I don't collect shoes. I tend to collect purses, which is ridiculous because I barely ever use them. But they have to have certain things in common. They have to have a long strap for my shoulder because I like wearing them over my shoulder, not tugging them around in my hand. They have to be big enough to carry the kitchen sink because at least big enough for a book because I still always have a book with me wherever I go, a novel, nonfiction, something to read, always. And I am not a Kindle person. <laughs> I like to flip old-fashioned pages. So it has to have room for my keys, my phone, my glasses, a book, masks now, Kleenex, you know, things like that. All the stuff that a woman has in her purse. Well, probably not all. I never carry lipstick. You know, I don't have nail clippers, things like that. But practical things, things you need when you're in the car, you know, things like that. And so my purse is not an accessory. It is luggage. It is something that I use to carry with me what needs to go with me to be where I am. So if I get stuck someplace waiting in the car or in line somewhere or a doctor's office, something, I always have a book to read. Things like that. So that's, that's not an accessory. It's just an appendage. It's something that just has to be there. And I don't really care what it looks like because it's not about me looking great. It is simply practical for me. And if it looks nice, that's awesome. That's a good thing. I don't want to look like a slob or, you know, I don't want to look completely, you know, clashing like having a fuchsia purse with a pink shirt or something. Not that I own anything like that, but, you know. But this idea that we would take one of God's creatures, a living, breathing creature, and turn that creature into an accessory, something that makes us look cute, something that makes people go, ooh, isn't that cute? Yeah. You know, yes, we want people to like our dogs and cats. Who doesn't want others to appreciate this little being that we have that we love? Okay? And I know there's people out there who are not pet people and you're not dog people, whatever. If you are not a dog person, you don't understand me or my dog. That's okay. That's okay. But you don't know what you're missing because dude is amazing. And by the way, it's dude. D U D E. Little dude. He was the littlest one, he was the runt. Not so much anymore, but once upon a time he was a runt. So his name is Little Dude Parker. Um, anyway, that's besides the point. The thing is, I saw this woman in this picture with a dog under her arm, and it occurred to me that we have done God's creation a disservice when we have turned other beings that feel, I don't know if dogs think, I think they do, but you know, we won't argue that point today, but that feel that they're aware, you know, they're aware of when we are angry with them. They're aware when they've done something wrong. <laughs> it's very kind of cute when they feel like they're about to get in trouble. I don't know if they feel shame. They sure look like it sometimes. But there's something wrong with that, that we have now gotten to the point where cats and dogs are accessories. We don't have them because we love them or because we care about them. We have them because they look cool. They look cute. They, they add to our brand. That's the other thing. Why do people why do people have to have brands? Like a brand is a Nike or like Colgate or something. A person should not be a brand. That's just ridiculous. But then I got thinking about even further as I was talking to Rob about this idea that anything that breathes should not be an accessory. It is not an accessory. And he said, children. It seems sometimes that too too often anymore that children have become accessories of parents. I remember back in the day when I was growing up and I thought about having kids. I thought about, you know, growing up and getting married and having children. And that would be for me and what I was always thinking and to this day would be a fulfillment of 
of a call that God had in my life. If I was called to be a parent, it would be because I had love to share and wisdom to, to impart and um, the stewardship of another being that God placed in my care. Not simply because to be successful means you have, you know, um, a mom and a dad and a house with two stories and two cars and two kids and, and a fence. It, it, too many times I run into people or hear about people anymore that talk about their children as if, number one, they're either mini adults, they're mini me's, that they're, they're best friends. My child is my best friend. Your child is a child. Let your child be a child. Let your child's best friend be the other five-year-old who eats sand with them in the sandbox. Did you know that mud pies are edible? <laughs> Think back to when you were a kid. How much dirt did you eat? How much dirt do kids these days eat? Maybe that's the problem. They don't ingest their fair share of germs. Anyway, that's not the point. The point is that we have, I think we do ourselves a disservice when we start thinking of children as something other than children. I, I see way too many people who treat their children as if they're little mini adults. They have, they have to know every single thing. They have to be getting perfect on all tests. They have to be involved in every single thing, you know, like baseball, soccer, hockey. They have to be on the swim team at school. They have to be the captain of the debate team. They have to be hall monitor. They have to be little Mr. Per Mr. or Miss Perfect doing everything and ha having it all together. And then we wonder why we have, we have teenage suicide or children who are, are taking their parents' drugs, or kids with anxiety, kids who are depressed. We put on our children too often things that we ourselves cannot handle. Adults get depressed and overwhelmed when they have to deal with work and home and the bills and, and, and. And what do we do? We pile all those things on our children as well. And then we're surprised, we're shocked, we're we're overwhelmed when we find out that they're cutting class or they're doing drugs or they're depressed or thinking about suicide. We need to let children be children. The other flip side of that though is children are not accessories. These people who, you know, trot their children out to be like the, the, the reason why is not to, that they're in all of these events or they're all, all these activities isn't because the parent necessarily wants them to be well-rounded. And I think that's part of the part of the reasoning for some people. But for some people, I have met some parents whose whole thinking is that if my child is smarter than, more achieved than, more, more, more than your child, then I look better as I look like a better mother. I look like a better citizen. I look like a better employee. The child has become an accessory, something that makes the parent look good. You might as well have that mother pick up her child and swing him under her arm or stick him in her purse the way that she does her chihuahua, walking around as if this child is an accessory. Children are not accessories. Dogs and cats are not accessories. Earrings are accessories. Watches, glasses, like necklaces, those are all accessories. They do things to enhance how we look, how we feel. And there's nothing wrong with that. But when we start taking something that breathes, that has DNA, and treating them like they're accessories, we have got our priorities so screwed up. So take a look today and think about what are the accessories in your life? What are those things that are there simply to make you look and feel good? I'm not suggesting you shouldn't have them. I'm just suggesting that maybe we need to take a look at them and see that maybe Maybe some things shouldn't be accessories. Maybe some things should just be left alone to be what they are. And trust me, you will never see me carrying dude around under my arm or in my purse. It won't happen. What you might see is dude dragging me down the street. I might be his accessory, but dude will never be mine. Have a great day. God bless you. And check your accessories at the door.